Hey, could you use some good news? Well, how's this for a start? An international team of astronomers have discovered a rogue planet a hundred light years from Earth. The planet, a gas giant dubbed CFBDSIR2149-0403, those eccentric stargazers and their wacky names for things, has no sun and orbits no star. It does appear to be moving through the galaxy as part of a group of relatively young stars. Relatively young meaning between 50 million and 120 million years old. Astronomers found the rogue planet, the nearest object of its kind yet discovered, by detecting the infrared light given off by it. It probably formed from the same molecular cloud as the stars in its moving group, and has between four and seven times the mass of Jupiter, which is not nearly enough for it to have become a star in its own right, or even to be considered a brown dwarf, or what is sometimes known as a failed star, but it's more than enough to make one hell of a massive planet. How about this? New research from Northwestern Medicine has resulted in the creation of a biodegradable nanoparticle that could someday be used to treat a whole plethora of autoimmune disorders, including type 1 diabetes and some forms of allergies, and which has already been used in a therapy which has been shown to halt relapsing remitting multiple sclerosis in mice. The nanoparticles are used to deliver antigens, which reset the body's immune system so it no longer attacks and destroys the myelin insulating nerve fibers. The new treatment allows targeted therapy to halt demyelination without suppressing the patient's immune system. A similar therapy is already being tested on human patients only using the patient's own white blood cells to deliver the antigen. Using the nanoparticle would not only be less expensive, but it seems just as effective. Finally, how about this? Scientists at Cambridge University have developed a technique using cells transplanted from the lining of the nose that has reversed paralysis in dogs with spinal cord injuries. The method involves removing olfactory and sheathing cells from the lining of the nose and placing them at the site of the spinal cord injury. These cells, called OECs for short, were chosen because they enable nerve cells in the olfactory system to continue to grow and regenerate throughout adulthood. No other part of the nervous system is able to do this. Dogs who took part in this study had been previously injured. These were not laboratory animals. And many of them regained significant movement and control of their back legs and were able to walk on treadmills with the help of harnesses. It's still very early but the researchers behind this study are hopeful that someday their technique will be able to treat much more complicated spinal cord injuries like those impairing temperature regulation or fine motor skills in humans as well as dogs. Once again, it is science for the win. Astronomers discover a homeless planet wandering our galactic neighborhood and two scientific breakthroughs promise hope for those suffering from multiple sclerosis and spinal cord injuries. That is the good news.